All right. Hello, you wonderful beings. Today I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into today's topic, which is what I call the, the edge of corny. So I call it that because it's kind of an exploration when something begins to be corny and why we are perceiving it as, as such. I um, <clears throat> try to address corny from an objective perspective first and um, then I will try to analyze it from a very personal perspective. The objective perspective would be the imbalance. If you have many components in an artwork that point in the same direction, whether the direction is cute or evil looking, doesn't matter. But if every aspect in this picture is pointing in that one direction, uh, it might be because of imbalance, because there's nothing to balance that out, the feeling arises that, that it's flat. And as your, your eye is, is very intelligent, it knows that something is missing. It knows that some thing would have to be would have to be balanced. Now my personal perspective on when something is corny is actually that well first of all I try to completely remove any personal filters or any personal judgment if something is corny or not. And that gave me a very 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 big freedom actually to to explore and to expand in a way that is that might actually not be visible initially in your artworks but your your workflow might be enhanced by a thousand times because you you stop trying to to be to be, I would say you stop trying to be cool you stop trying to you stop trying to to force balance in into pictures and a, a funny train of thought for me was m maybe my artworks if I really let it flow out maybe my artworks are actually corny maybe maybe it's that maybe it's this 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 aspect of me that I've that I tried to hide for so long. So this this is how how this um, uh, uh, how I would in, interpret it in, in English. So, so but but the the feeling the feeling is amazing to allow that to say okay I I just express this the scenery or whatever I have in mind and see what comes out before judging it there was a period when the judging process was so initial was so fast there was so much ch chatter um, in my mind that I that I almost couldn't focus on the painting anymore so the moment I tried to put this judgment process really to the very very end when the picture is done and I, I really don't judge it and and every time I did this the, the progress was so smooth it was really much more enjoyable and and I thought why not making this the the natural state of, of, of painting <laughs> it's it's so much more enjoyable to just completely eradicate the the whole judgment process during the painting and um, leave the picture there for a while and then you see you you don't even want to to judge it in the end and the more you you allow yourself to to just let the picture like this the more you you <laughs> i would say you will see what you really draw and finally, this, the, um, the things that really come from you, 
have a chance to, to come out, have a chance to grow. And if it's corny, it's fine. And what you will finally see in, in, in the picture, no matter how, how, how good you, or, or bad your technique is, you will see uh, um, the, the real, the, a clear reflection of what's, what's inside of you. Now this is for me one of the most interesting things that everything you paint, everything you draw is literally an, an aspect of yourself. The moment I, I saw that I looked at my, my older paintings and I was so shocked how much they tell me about myself. Now, even if I had to work, even if I had to, to do a, a, an illustration or a concept or a character design for a client, it was still coming from me and therefore representing an aspect of my reality, uh, of, of my life and of my life situation in this case. While, while keeping this in mind, I just I was just browsing through my pictures and for, to, trying to, 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 to read the pictures from a more metaphoric perspective. That, and, and, and they're not only saying like, oh, here, here you were very busy with work or here you were a bit, I don't know, sloppy or whatever. But I like to make the comparison with dream symbols when when people are dreaming i don't know from the dreaming of a dragon or whatever and then then people are like oh oh you have to look it up you have to look what the, what what the dragon means and, and 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 stuff like this and i think it's it's kind of cute because the well then why why are you not doing it, it with your own work with your with the things you're really drawing with things that are really present in in your life why are you not looking out uh, for the for the symbols uh, the moment i started to really put it in action i would say and start to read it's amazing how how much the pictures are telling you about yourself there was a point in in my life where things got very i got very um, sensitive to 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 all kinds of um um, media for me everything became very real and I and I and I could dive very deep into to what I saw and um, I'm saying this because of course many many digital artists are, are working for games and uh, when I was was drawing a lot of I don't know violent things uh, I started to ask like where is this actually coming from? Is this coming from me or am I copying something? And considering that it's an actual reflection, I was like, is, is, is there really like a war going on inside of me? Or is there really like this, this battle, this constant like warriors and, and, and <laughs> whatever. So it is really, it's a big fun to make these, these, um, uh, journeys through your own work, I, I, I would say. The, the only thing I would be careful with, I would not try to paint nice pictures just because um, you want to show uh, yourself that you have a nice uh, reflection. All I want to say is that the moment you are very honest with with your um, feeling and with with the things you you paint you get a lot out of it and you can really uh, relate to your paintings much more and they become better if you you put more soul if you put more um, of the real you in it they they have to become better they have to become more distilled in a way if you if you find that you want to draw um, something violent 
well then draw it experiment with it and then you can try to relate to it then you can really try to say do i really relate to this to the thing i'm i'm drawing now i also got this knowing what things i want to look at and um i always was very fascinated by games and um uh, but i was always really wondering why mo most of these games were limited to to he heavy violence yeah i was i was wondering and was like uh, there's something there, there got to be more and and there got to be uh, more you can you can actually do uh, with games and so i have, <laughs> have to make this little confession here that i actually i stopped playing video games and uh for a long time now and it really uh, I, i don't know it brought me back to a more childlike i i didn't have have a routine of of um of violent uh, pictures and that made me much more receptive to my own progression before that there was this noise somehow and and when i stopped um the the noise was gone and i was also amazed how um how this game thing changed when my dream states got more intense because they um usually we're a, a lot of times in, in, uh, in the mainstream media including games there's this um this kind of searching for the this thrill or people uh want to get shocked more and more and they're and actually when you go through that stuff for yourself you realize wow that actually it is not so nice to, <laughs> to really experience that and uh, the, this parallel that i always found so fascinating it, it sounds very strange now i know but why i would consider gaming one one of the most spiritual things you can do <laughs> actually it is because you are aware of your uh, uh, avatar aware of of your uh, 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 how you say your, your uh, proxy or, or the thing you you know that you are not this is, this is it's basically the, the the puppet you're moving and it's similar in, in in lucid dreams oh i should put it the other way now because um when i see people playing games i got immediately triggered this feeling of kind of a, a lucid dream or this this avatar feeling yeah and so this is why i got more um i would say picky with with the states that um, i want to be in and of course if you want to experience these The, the states by, by yourself the mind has to be very uh, clean what I can really really say for for sure now is that w when you uh, uh, quiet down the, the things you take in and become more aware of what you actually want to express what what you are feeling and 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 not what a what a what a game or whatever just just tells you to feel it will heavily improve your art and by improving i mean maybe maybe not for others <laughs> but <laughs> for yourself and this might be a paradox for some because many say well art has to be appealing yeah but if your if you for yourself feel that your art improves it's a very um very fulfilling feeling for me these little uh, contemplations helped where i was like D did i improve and then i sit there and see no my my technique is improving but i'm not i'm not really improving uh well that was just a, <laughs> a bad example but 
uh, um, I think you you get what I mean that the the improvement can come from a very subjective direction. Uh, most of the things I'm I'm talking about is not for people who want to get. Uh, how, how do I say I, into concept art or re- being a professional illustrator or whatever? It's uh, it's actually the, the quite the opposite. That uh, it's for, for people who want to get out, who want to 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 step back into to being an artist. So I um, uh, I hope you you enjoyed this um, this little cosmic reforestation process video and thank you very much for listening <laughs>